And you just saw another couple examples of places in your code where you can use generics to avoid using objects. The iComparable and iCompare interfaces have been in the .NET framework since the very beginning. And by default, they take objects. Well, in the 2.0 version of the .NET framework, both of those interfaces have generic versions. And by using the generic version, you specify that you'll be comparing based on specific data types, not starting out at objects and then having to convert to those data types. So the generic versions of those interfaces give you the ability to write code that's better performant and also type safe.